colour, the fun part. Well, no, actually, the other fun part. To be fair, throwing his orb into his face was pretty entertaining. <laughs> um, so do you want to start with his skin, skin tones or his <laughs> clothes? <laughs> uh, let's start with the skin tone. Because um, I think that'll be probably the hardest one, kind of getting that right. Uh, I feel like that's not too bad. That's pretty close, actually, already. Um, you want sm uh, Smurfesque? Smurfesque. <laughs> I guess I can see what that looks like. But I think that the one you... Yeah, I'd say the one that we just had, um, the not, winter one, is pretty good. It's not too bad. And, I'm, you know, if we want to add, like, a highlight, you could just, like, make the tip of the ear just a slightly more yeah, darker yeah. color sort of thing. Look. That. Oh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's a good look. Yeah, um, I think his hands have, like, auto-changed to that as well. Nice. That's well over there. Oh, there we go. So, uh, that's his skin color. Hair next? Sure. Because that's, that's an interesting one. Sort of like yeah. White. That's a, that's a, that's a caduceus. Uh, yeah, that's a straight caduceus. Uh, peach is pretty good. Yeah, because he's got it. It's, it's a salmon-y salmon color, which Peach is getting there. Here we go. Uh, and then it starts getting very um yeah very uh, we can we can custom color it we can mix our own color if you need to oh. um so do you want to start with that and then we can go back and after we've done the whole body you start mixing yeah. individual things yeah that sounds like a good good plan all right the eyes okay I'll just do I'll just do like one light one dark now so you can see what they're gonna look mm -hmm. like roughly. Now what sort of color was he uh, originally? Uh his eye color um following the the uh star elf kind of description, their eyes are kind of non eyes. <laughs> they got, they kind of look like the night sky. Um so I don't there's You don't want you just like black i mean that kind of works to what i think the description is as much as it can okay he's looking creepy he looks he looks a bit undead <laughs> yeah a little bit he looks like he's had a bad day um <laughs> a bad century <laughs> uh i think honestly i think the, the violin is fine as is but it's up to you if you want to change yeah. it no violin's fine um okay so we've got his clothes i'd say next let's let's go through all the shades of cloth we could have so what what kind of like describe his clothes in full for us sir sure so the way i describe his clothes is uh not equipped for combat but not a mage covered in several you know bombastic layers of robes or excessive garb very basic attire and neutral colors with undertones of blues oranges and indigos with simple silver and gold or gold motif motifs embroidered um wears a long open vest that goes to his mid calf which essentially th that coat is the best we can get for that um with the tunic underneath you'd mistake it for a monk if he were weren't for a spell book and magical orb so kind of a, a a neutral light kind of yeah like that kind of color is the base and then the embellishments are are different undertones of blues, oranges, and indigos, or silver and gold. Is um, most of his clothes the same color? Uh, for the most part, I mean, his, you know, if we're, the art has his outer jacket is darker, a darker um, indigo, and his inner tunic is, uh, is, is a lighter uh, gray color. Is it um, darker, or is it, like, is it sort of like that? that yeah like that okay and then the inner one i've got slightly lighter right now as you can see yeah yeah and then i think um the pants uh I, right now the pants are um a dark dark neutral brown like that yeah yeah 
Um, and for the black boots, so you want something to change there too? Um, no, the black boots is, is probably good. Okay. Um, All right. So, and then the outer edging is different, yeah? It's a brighter yeah, sort of it's thing? a brighter sort of blue, silvery blue. Um, uh, which will be hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want an actual metallic? Oh, uh, yeah, we can try that. Not too bad? No, it's pretty good. You happy with that? Um, yeah, actually. Okay, good. And you happy with the colors of the pouches here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, because if you if, just if you wanted them to match something else, I'll, I'd do that too. Um, I think they're good right now. Um, let's get your orb done. Yeah. Is it is it a, it's like just a pitch black thing, isn't it? Yeah, and then and then uh, uh, what might be nice is to what might be nice is to do like the largest surface areas in that dark black, and then maybe taking those like inner ri like rivets, like the and maybe making them a, a a color that stands out, kind of like the activated orb, um, so we can see it. Okay, so if we. I think it's good as it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the book's fine, or do you want that changed? Uh, the book is actually pretty good. Yeah, the book is fine. Your character's very sort of muted colors yeah. right now. <laughs> um, um, or you can. Oh, that's kind of cool. That makes ooh. you look a bit evil, though. Going from like it's black true. to blood. I don't mind it. It's I true. think it's cool, but. I do kind of like that look, though. <laughs> I like right. I like that dark, uh, the dark black glassiness into the red glassiness is kind of nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I think I like that. <laughs> so gonna go with that actually. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to do. You want me to use the same gold studs on your boots that you have on your jacket? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. No, I believe. It was brass. Brass. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. So right, whoop, right now, this is that is actually really cool on the floor. Yeah. All right, this is a uh, you dude so far. Now, do you want to just fix the hair up? You said originally it was like yeah, we'll mix a mix yeah, the yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now you have peach, which is there. All right, we can keep that as the base and then move it around great um yeah i'd say for that color in there maybe bringing it more towards uh you know up and towards the middle kind of more of a darker salmon color there yeah that might uh i guess not. is it changing it actively I hope so. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. try to remember where this is, roughly there. So if I do this, see it gets. Oh, I like it when it gets darker. Yeah. About there. Um. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good. We also want to remember to change his eyebrows. Yes. Oh God, not his whole face. <laughs> that's not bad actually, and that's does add good. a bit of, a bit of pop to your character. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. So we're happy. Are we happy with Auric Solaris as he is right now? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna save. Damn it. Save as <laughs> Auric. Oops. Auric Solaris. Except now, one thing I didn't do with Shelby that I need to do with you is we're gonna make a token. Just so we can yes. have it for the game, uh, should we want? So you can do it. I, I guess if you're gonna do it, do it so like that. So it's got his face plus his yeah. magic item in it. Now, 
given his color palette, maybe something a bit like that or Ooh. that. Um, <laughs> but there, there's a few choices. We've got ally, enemy, the Shuji screen temple, lakeside, aquatic, NPC, high tech. <laughs> Merchant? Actually, that's not bad. That's not that bad. What is that uh, one it's... down in the... I can't see it exactly in the bottom. Oh? Oh, assassin frame. I don't know what that looks like actually up close. Oh, Holy Crusade's got some... Oh, yeah, no, never mind. That's more intense than I thought. Um, A bit more plate than... Yeah, maybe. yeah that's more... more a lot more paladin-esque there that one's definitely more slow uh, that's than you. that's so slow <laughs> um a bit too druid uh I, yeah i think uh the merchant frame either the merchant frame or the lakeside one are probably the best um can i see the lakeside one again the top yeah yeah so sort of like uh purple heart wood with yeah. the the lake behind it so i mean that's not too bad if you're like this is you know uh a photo of your times in the feywild <laughs> that's uh, that's what it, that vibe it gives me yeah yeah uh and then the one below is more like you know maybe uh your bardic days wandering around mm -hmm. selling things seeing people you know it has the same sort of uh color as yeah. the rest of you which is nice and it's then got potions a bit of gold a bit of vials yeah, I think we should go with that one. I think that's one's the most uh, brings the most the most things together. Okay, okay. Um, what else we got here? You can just go. You can uh, go frame and then change background. There's also you can mix the colors up a little bit. So it's up mm -hmm. to up to you if you do want to go a bit more in depth with it. Otherwise, we can just go with this. I think the only thing that I would want to change is. Um, keep the frame and maybe change the background to help be there a bit more contrast between him and the background. Uh, maybe putting the uh, the lakeside background on it. That might look good. That one? Yeah. Okay. Um, Otherwise you could go with like uh, green, that, yeah. which again, contrast with him. It's, green and purple aren't necessarily the best contrast, but at least it's uh, different to the rest of the surrounding. It's not true, too true. purple um maybe try one of those yeah uh because uh yeah because that one what about uh that was not my intention i meant to <laughs> um what about the other one that has kind of a yellowish color to it the on the second row can also zoom out a bit, sorry. Messed no the problem. whole thing up because I was trying to <laughs> see if I could move the whole screen across to get a better in line with the video. Oh, Apparently I see, not. I see. So second <laughs> in line of which one? The bottom, this one? Uh, no, not the uh, the second row, the yellowish one in the second row on the end, yeah. It's not bad. It's not that bad, yeah. Um, maybe just trying that uh the second one in the second row the blue and yellow blue with the yellow lights that's, that's pretty good. good it uh it does it's close enough to the color palette you've already got while being distinct enough that you can quite easily see his outline the frames outline exactly yeah separates yeah, it all. i think and it's got some accents around the place that match i think that's the one i'll go with then all right i will hit the download button well Thanks guys for, for watching for, for this long. Uh, if you want to see more, we'll have another one of these pretty soon. The game will be starting in mid-September with a couple of people from Paradise RPG, which is Sean and Shannon. A couple of the people from Wonders and Blonders, which is uh, Kieran and Mike. And then uh, from the YouTube channel, Whistle While You Work, there will be Shelby. And then myself from Roll for Damage, uh, Nova as the DM. We will be running for, for quite a while, doing that Tyranny of Dragons. And we'll also have some 
more links and ads for Hero Forge as they are so graciously sponsoring us uh, so that we can get some cool minis out. All right. Bye.